Yeah, well, Brianna, good evening to you. From the caterer to the music, you probably know there is so much that goes into planning a wedding. And with the coronavirus still lingering around, this is causing a huge headache for everybody in the industry. I have had a few brides call me crying. As a wedding planner, it's Ashley Murray's job to bring to life the perfect fairy tale wedding for couples. It's had an impact on all of us as wedding professionals. But with the coronavirus causing people to cancel large gatherings, Murray has had to break the news to five of her couples that their wedding would have to be postponed. Trying to keep my couples calm as well during this whole crisis. It's been a little bit crazy. No one really knows what's going on. So trying to play therapist has been a big role for the past week. She says unless you've planned a wedding, you probably don't realize the amount of moving parts that go into one. It's wedding planning in and of itself. There's a roller coaster. And so now with the uh, coronavirus on top of that and not knowing where um, people need to be and when bands are going to be uh, released, it's kind of put more stress, well, I should say a lot more stress on my couples. Venues all over the country that usually look like this are now closed up with no certain open date in the future. In this industry, in this profession, you've just got to be really flexible. Murray says she's been in constant contact with her couples, reassuring them everything will work out and not to give up hope. In the end, they're still going to get married and it's going to be okay. And I talked to another woman who is in the wedding industry. She said it's not just impacting weddings that are supposed to happen now or the next week or the next couple of months, but prospective clients aren't able to come look at the venue and do the tour. So this is going to be felt, she says, for months to come. Reporting live from my home tonight, Brandon Bates, WXII 12 News.